Woo. Morning, everybody. Chad, Adder Farms. Uh, first off, if you're new here, man, we sincerely appreciate that. Uh, if you didn't know, we just gave away 50 bucks to Haas Tools, a couple t-shirts, and a $50 Amazon gift card uh, to Miss Diane. That was awesome. We got her stuff. And yeah, I hope she buys a lot of stuff and grows some things and enjoys it. We're gonna do it again at a thousand. I don't know what we're gonna give away yet. Animals are a little rowdy this morning. The reason they're so rowdy is because it's about an hour and a half, it's 7.30. It's about an hour and a half after I normally feed them. Um, it's certainly an hour after I normally feed them. But I'm gonna move the pigs today. My dad's been kind enough to clear out some spots in the woods, as you can see back here behind me. There's actually some pretty giant openings. I'm talking like 50 by 50 openings back here in the, uh, the denser part of the, the land. And he's been kind enough to clear them out and chop down little trees and anything like that, cut down little trees. So we're gonna move the pigs so they'll be in the shade more. And ultimately what I want is these little paddocks back in the woods. So we gotta move them and hopefully it goes all right. Let's do it. Move one, two, three, four, five pigs. Checking it, beef. Hey, boys, I've always found it interesting that I've got nearly 20 chickens and they use the same two nesting boxes when there's actually six. You guys have three feeders around your pen and you both share them and move around. What if, now I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking, if one of you went to the other feeder, well, the other one ate out of this one, and then when you both finish your plates, you can switch to the other two feeders. Huh? What you think? You think I'd be all right? You think I'd be all right? Okay, have it your way. So let me show you real quick the spots my dad has cleared out. He's even put a couple wallows back here for him. So if you, if you didn't know, we've got a quarter acre in town where the garden is. We've got two acres outside of town because of all the noisy animals. Two acres outside of town that actually butts up against, that actually butts up against mom and dad's property. What I'm talking about, what I'm referring to is my dad came back and cleared all this out back here. So that's where they're at. There's an old structure. And if you back up to where I'm at, you can see this area that dad cleared. Appreciate it, dad. And there's another one back there. These are big areas, real big. Like I'll actually be able to move the uh, premier piglet fence that they're in. And the American guinea hogs are actually in a sheep and goat fence, but works just the same, they respect it. So what I'm gonna do is I've actually only got one camera, uh, one camera with me. And the reason for that is I'm not on this channel gonna ever, you know, oh man, the animals got out. You know, something dramatic. The safety of the animals comes first. Um, them getting out, going off the path of moving through this, uh, we're moving them about, it's probably 50 yards. Um, you know, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you've got five pigs, we're gonna move three at once and then two at once. When you've got five pigs that have never moved, certainly not for me, and there's some distractions along the way. Um, it can get kind of hairy. I'm just gonna set up the camera to where I think you guys can get the best view. The safety of the animals is, is the main thing and them getting out and getting off track is not safe for them either. I don't know how good a view you'll get, but I'll do my best. Let's do it. And I'm gonna turn their fence off and try and kind of walk them right down this lane right here at you guys. Oh, <laughs> 
I was trying to see if they'd follow me. Um, the last couple days, what I've been doing, don't worry, I'm gonna move them. But the last couple days, what I've been doing is, when I give them their feed, I shake it at them and walk around. So they're waiting on me to throw it. One thing's for sure, they're gonna eat really well today. They're pigs. Oh, buddy. Three down, two to go. So they eat with their heads down. So I really gotta make sure when I throw it, they're even looking.
All right, so Lola's made up her mind where she wants to stay. <laughs> I am cut up. Who knows how many ticks or who knows where. Lola wins, which convinces me that she is with Piglet. I spent a good 30, 45 minutes trying to push her and I've seen Hoss try and mount her and she absolutely resists. I just, I think it's time. She's also exhausted. Check this out. I, I feel bad, but I'm being flat honest with you. And she's okay. She came over and drank probably, well, I think those are two and a half gallon tubs and she drank both of them almost dry. Lola sleeping in the pig loo. So now the question is, what do I do? I'm thinking She's gonna join the beefy boys. Just temporarily at least. All right. Lola is every bit of, I think if we got her, she was 110, 120. And I'm gonna try and drag her in that pig wheel. The only place you can grab is right up front where her face is. If I lose a digit. Hopefully I'll at least get some piglets out of the deal. I have no words. That was something. Yeah, buddy. Got a new roommate. You boys be nice. Boys be nice. That's my finger, man. That's my finger. So to recap, we've got Lola with the beefy boys and however many piglets she's going to have just for now. We've got Hoss, Beans, Chops, and Miss Piggy back here. And they all seem pretty content for now. And chicken and beef, the turkeys are up front as well. But if you guys enjoyed this pig moving video, go find another channel where they move pigs all the time. Because I am never doing this again. Certainly not alone. Whew, that was fun. But, man, if you guys are subscribed, I uh, sincerely appreciate it. Whoop. Sorry. If you guys are subscribed, I sincerely appreciate it. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. If you did enjoy this, this is the kind of stuff we're doing. I'm learning. It is what it is. I don't mind it one bit. Uh, but hit that like button. We're going to do another giveaway at 1,000. At 500, we actually gave away a Haas Tools gift card and an Amazon gift card. Congratulations again, Diane. A thousand is fast approaching and I'm actually working on a couple videos with some other YouTubers, a couple projects with some other YouTubers. So a thousand's gonna get here pretty quick, trust me. I wanna subscribe and be a part of that. It's gonna be a heck of a giveaway. A ninja kind of a giveaway. If you've been following along, you know what I mean. All right, y'all be good. Don't work too hard. God bless, stay safe. Until next time.